introduce yourself to the people behind the camera sure so i am rahul mani and i go by the handle i am noob on twitter and other bumper bounty platforms and i am a college student and i do bug bounty hunting on platforms such as uh, bugcraft hacker one and sign up so do you believe like bug bounty is the new opportunity for people uh, definitely for a college student like me it gives uh, me an opportunity to earn a lot of uh, rewards and all so it it is definitely a very good opportunity for people can you share a little bit about like how you got started with bug bounties okay so it was back in 2013 i was like doing fishing and all so i got interested into web application hacking and so i started looking into it and uh, one day i was just putting some xss payloads on a bug bounty platform which was barracuda networks at that time and i got lucky with that and that was my first bounty and that's how i got started that's good so if we go backwards can you tell like what problems did you face while you got started okay so back in 2013 or so there were not enough resources available as they are now there were uh, not any kind of write ups done by bug bounty hunters compared to today there are a lot of write ups and people share a lot of tips and tricks today on twitter and all the info sec community do you do bug bounty full time or part time no so as i told you that i am a college student so i do it only part time how many uh, bugs do you find per year on average okay so about an average i get about uh, 100 or so bugs every year how much time do you spend like finding those bugs in a year or in a week okay so it completely depends on time that if i am free from any kind of assignments or work from college then i would definitely go for bug bounties and otherwise it's only the weekends or some leisure time do you do bug bounty full time or part time so as i told you that i am a college student so i can do it only uh, part time so basically how many bugs do you find every year uh, it's an average about more than uh, 100 bugs i guess so how much time do you spend per week okay so i do bug bounty hunting whenever i am like free from any kind of assignments or work from college and whenever in my leisure time so let's speak about the methodology so if you are given a target how do you approach the target okay so it completely depends on the target scope so say if you are given a wild card scope then i would first uh, try to find all kinds of subdomains that target would have uh, using passive and active scan uh, i would use common speak to word list which is built by infosec infosec au so i would first get all the subdomains and then check for the services running on the server and then i would go for uh, manual web application testing wherever the http service is running so what tools do you use Uh, uh for finding subdomains and content discovery like finding the files and directories i would use gobuster and for scanning the services running on the server i would use anna and uh, for uh, intercepting the requests and all bug shoot of course what do you recommend beginners like how to get started in bug bounties uh first of all for the newcomers uh it's better if they know how to develop the application before like knowing how to break the application so i would recommend them to first learn how to develop applications and then uh, follow uh, infosec people on twitter uh, which is a, a very active community and people share a lot of tips and tricks there and read blogs posted by them regularly and keep yourself updated so this is regarding bug bounty world so how do you use bug bounty world slack channel Okay, so I use it to basically connect with other bug bounty hunters there, and I use the help channel a lot to maybe try to help people and maybe even learn from the answers given by other people. And also, I I would use that for getting support from bug bounty platforms. 
So, if you want to give one message in a sentence, what would you tell beginners, like in one sentence, how to be successful in bug bounties? Okay, so apart from all the technical knowledge, uh, the key for bug bounty hunting is persistence. So, I would say persistence is everything you should 